One day, a young man went to Buddha. He seemed very upset. Buddha asked him the reason. The young man told him that his father has died and he wants to perform best afterlife rituals for his father. Despite of his father's good or bad actions in his life, he wants his father's soul to go up to heaven. He said, I could have gone to any ordinary priest, but I have come to you with this request. I want you to perform afterlife rituals for him, so that in his afterlife he can gain entry to heaven and permanently reside there. Buddha listened to the man and said, Go to the market and buy two earthen pots. Also bring some butter and some favors to fill in the pots. The young man went to the market and bought them, thinking that this was for ritual. Then young man filled one pot with butter and another with favors and sealed them. Then Buddha told him to put those pots in a nearby pond. The young man did so as said by Buddha and both pots sank to the bottom of the pond. Now Buddha asked him to bring a stout stick and strike both pots and break them open. He did so thinking that now the Buddha would perform a wonderful ritual for his father. As the young man hit both pots and break them open, the butter escaped from the first and flowed to the surface whereas stones from other pores settle at the bottom. Buddha said, I have done this much. Now call all your priests. Let them come and pray so that favors can rise to the surface and butter can sink to the bottom. The young man replied, Are you joking? How is this possible? It is against law of nature. Buddha replied, Young man, you know so much about nature, yet you do not want to understand the law that is applicable to one and all. If your father kept performing bad actions like favors and stone, he is bound to go down, no one can pull him up. And if he kept performing good actions which are like butter, he is bound to go up no one can push him down. This is law of karma. This is law of nature. Our difficulty is that we think that some invisible power will somehow favor us. Even though we do nothing to change our own behavior and our own actions, we see in our life people expect good outcome even for bad karma they have performed. But they forget that fruit depends on our actions. Therefore, we must be careful about our actions in daily life and do only good.